How's hand tracking in the Quest 3, and is it worth it yet? God damn, woman, you're good at asking me the wrong questions. All right. <laughs> hand tracking. Uh, so hand tracking, it, to me, felt um, on par with uh, both Quest 2 and Quest Pro experiences uh, in that it works really well. Um, I know we were just yesterday trying, and I can probably talk a little bit more about the Quest Pro experience and then kind of compare. Um, we were in Demio, and I had my hands, my ghost hands, with no controllers, and they put a glove on your hand. And so I was like, it was really cool to see my full like finger detail and all that. The other thing I would say is, with the hand tracking for Quest 3, which is kind of equivalent to that in terms of its tech, um, it's, it's very good now. It's very good. There's not a lot of delay between your actual hand movement and the ghost hand that kind of overlays it, that kind of blue sheath uh, that is covering your hands. Uh, but the thing that I noticed the most is you can put your fingers together, which you couldn't do before. Now I'm driving, otherwise I would represent what I mean. But if you interlock your fingers together, before it would cause the tracking to go crazy. Like maybe a, a year and a half ago, they patched it out. So for anyone who's new to Quest 3, put the controllers down, try your hands, remember to pinch, and um, one thing that I find helpful is keeping the other fingers out of the way, either in, in a fist uh, or open like this. And then that helps you with um, accurate pinches uh, that allow you to browse and scroll and all that kind of stuff. And also for people who are brand new, uh, in order to access the menu, you flip your hand around and then you pinch, you hold. And that's how you access the menu and then you get a selector. So uh, yeah, it's, it's very good, very good.